Howdy, 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 Larry here, and welcome back to my continuing Hydraneer series. Oh, and can you believe it? I finally got this upper area built. Took me literally five days to do, and I've torn it down a half a dozen times because of one, trying to get efficient, and then technology changes. Gotta love when those new mods come out, because, oh, they get to be quite tasty, and... Yeah, you got to change things around a little bit. But first, can somebody explain to me why we have waffles in the build? Anyone? But yeah, we got some nice buttery waffles here. Can't do anything with it, but they're here. So figure if anybody's hungry, you know, there you go. You have some. Life is good. Now, if you notice... Of course, to the third floor, I went ahead and changed up our water processing. Yes, now it is all wood. We've got little flowers and all that other fun stuff. And each level has its own uh, filtration and all that other fun stuff. And of course, we can control water and all that right up there. And of course, for each level. So, you know, life is good. And I do believe... I think I should be able to get to that fourth level, so, <laughs> yeah. But, 198 drills, can you believe that? Yeah. I'm almost finished with this upper level, and it is working, believe it or not. And look at this brand new technology we have. Yes. We now, due to Itchy Beard, he has come out with ore transporters. Yes. Can you believe it? Or transporters. So that's a huge reduction in belts, which is very nice. And the great thing is I'm going to be able to eliminate all my gravity stuff. So of dropping levels. But the really cool thing is I don't even have metal or any of my ores being done over here. Notice it's all gone. I got it out of here. I'm like, you know what? We can transport. Let's have some fun with it. So, let me show you where everything went. First, it bounces over here, which is really cool. So, we have the dirt coming in. That whole level is going right into this one harvester right here, which is bouncing around in here. Now, I did run a test here because uh, from what I heard that these things have issues around harvesters and all that. So I changed their little pattern and all that. And I have not had any issues with these things whatsoever. So life is good. You know, no, no problems whatsoever. Now, getting these things synced together can be a pain in the butt. But that's nah, either here nor there. I'll show you in just a sec. But... See, we have all of our sorting going on right here. Now, the really cool thing is, is we can go back to the main area and the transporters are just a clip on the belts. So here, I didn't really even have to reset up my area over here because all I did was just throw in a belt clip, boom. And now all of my gems are done over here. Now, am I going to change the gem area up? Of course I am. But that's just how fast and easy it is to upgrade. Now, let me show you where I put all of the ore processing. And notice we got the beginning area. Right up here. We just have our gold, iron, podium, our shards all being sent up here. No big deal. No lag, no nothing, no headaches, no fuss. It's just life is good. Now, make sure when uh, you're pairing these things up, of course, get the same name, you know, iron for iron or whatever you're going to name it. Make sure that's the same. But on the first unit, you're going to, of course, click send, put in the name and hit save. You know, pretty... You know, pretty self-explanatory. No big deal. But when you come over to the receiving unit, 
when you type in the name and you hit receive and then hit save or however you want to do it, make sure you toggle this switch to send and to receive until this turns the yellowish color. Once it turns yellow, it has linked to the sending unit. I was, it was driving me absolutely insane trying to get this thing figured out. I was, you know, uh, saving the game, backing out of the game, restarting the game. And finally, I, I'm just like, okay, what's going on here? And then I started uh, toggling this switch from send to receive. And once it turned yellow, everything worked fine. And I'm like, seriously, that's all there was to it? So if you run into issues with uh, linking these things together, just first make sure that their name is spelt directly the same. All, you know, if it's, you know, all capitals, make sure this one is in all capitals as well. Just make sure it's identical. And then just toggle this switch, send to receive, send to receive until it turns yellow. That's how I had to fix mine. If you run into the same issue, you know how to fix it. So that is that area. Can you believe it? So it is this area that I'm going to go ahead and build in. I'm going to do all my ore processing over here. And I haven't yet figured out where I'm going to do all the gems. But if this works out well enough, and if my computer is strong enough, then since we have these ore teleporters, I am going to try to build here as well, or someplace else, and try to get us up to like four or 500 tier two drills. I'm gonna see how far I can go until I basically crash the game or crash my computer, one of the two, but something's gonna die in the process <laughs> but what other fun things can i show you oh making money that is critical and even with half my system or literally two-thirds of my system being down i'm still making money so let's go ahead and i got to get this stuff automated being on manual really is a pain but it works let's see how much this is worth i try not to make a necklace until it's worth at least a million hey okay, that's worth nine hundred and seventy four thousand let's go see how much let's go grab some gold real fast and gold is what right here yeah so we'll snag some gold yeah, it's a little inconvenient now with how I've broken everything up trying to get stuff built. But it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and get that heated up. Now, I do have some metal here because I was going to make a sword. So we'll go ahead and burn up some of this iron right here. And I tell you what, that uh, power saw, that makes life so much easier. Getting three identical pieces. Let's see if we can get these things dropped correctly. They're starting to cool down pretty quick. Uh-oh. Okay, got it. Life is good. So, let's go see how much this little thing is worth. And this is worth, what, 10 million? Not too bad. And let's see. Let's get this uh, necklace made. Okay. We're going to... Okay. We have got, what? 974000 for the gem. So let's toss this on here. We'll get this necklace. That looks pretty toasty. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab this chunk of gold. Put it right there. Grab the saw. Two pieces right there. Life is good. Strike that. <laughs> and let's go see how much this puppy's worth. Woohoo! We're gonna drop, what, 16 million? 
Uh, I like that number. So where do we want to deposit 16 million? Hmm. How much money do I have over here? Got 11 million there. I don't think I have any money over here. Yeah, I don't have any money over here. So 16 there. I've been buying teleporters. So how do we how much we have? Well, we got 11 million over here. I don't think I'm going to be buying teleporters anytime soon. So let's move this 11 mil. And where do we want to take it? Let's put it over in the this area over here. Because all the other areas have like 20, 30 million each in there. I know one of these areas has 40 million, but I don't remember which one. I just throw money around randomly just so I don't have to do anything. Okay, so we've got that. What other fun things can I show you that's coming up? I mean, everything has been, the mods have just been improving the game so much where it's been nicer and nicer to play. But I don't think I have anything. So I think I'm going to wind up ending it here so you can see, well, you know, I just wanted to show you what's going on. And I'm actually going to work very diligently today. So when you wake up tomorrow, you'll have a brand new shiny video other than this one. And I'm hoping, hoping that I will have brought us up to 210 drills. And I will hopefully have a nice little area for our gems and a nice little area for our uh, ores. But, mm, you know... The drills come first because this is a lot of modifying and a lot of rebuilding that I have to do. So I do want to thank everybody that's been following the series and all for all your comments. Your comments have been great. Comments have caused me to start over multiple times because you point something out and it's like, oh yeah, I kind of missed that, didn't I? Or yeah, I can improve this. So awesome. So keep on, you know, comments, gotta love them. And, you know, for any of you people that sit there and say, oh, backseat gaming, I don't want to offend you. Hey, if you give me a tip that will improve the series, I don't consider it backseat gaming. So, yeah, you know, you got to do it. Anyway, if you like what you saw, hit like because it'll allow a lot more people to know I'm out there. So hopefully you're having a great day. I know I am. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.